Hey, it is a Wednesday. I am in Davison, Michigan. It is snowing just gently outside. I am in front of Linda's Country Store and Quilt Shop. This place is super, super cool. Come with me, I wanna show you this wonderful little quilt shop. And we are just having a blast. Now I was laughing with the girls because I'm gonna go sell them fabric in a few minutes. But one of the things I always love to do is those first impressions when you first walk in the door of a shop. So here we have our wonderful variety. And one of the things I love about traveling around with the camera, all of my stereotypes are being shattered and broken, right? Like I just found a huge wall of batiks almost in Canada, like crazy, right? And like I said, it's snowing outside and it's winter, but they are ready for their beautiful brights and all their fun fabrics out. Wonderful wood, cutting counters, measuring tables. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been, you know, stressing this out. I had one young lady walk into a quilt shop with a problem. Don't even need to tell me what the problem was. And then I had two other young ladies, one behind a counter and one on the other side of the counter, help solve the problem. Did I get the story right? Yes, and also we had the help of Linda. And Linda, the and owner yes, of the shop, because this is why we come to local quilt shops. Exactly. <laughs> Wonderful. Is. There's also a really cool classroom, a pressing room, a sit and sew area on the other side of this wall over here. And here are my new friends that I just met. Now, let me see if I can do it backwards in the camera correctly. Christy, here, whoops, there, no, there, hold still. There's Rob, hold still, please. Christy. Hello. Sandy and Linda of Linda's Country Store and Quilt Shop, right? Is this wonderful? Now, I can't bug Linda too much this morning because she lost a voice. <laughs> she was at a Van Halen concert last night. And uh, so I'm gonna interview Linda for a few moments here. Now, Linda, how long have you been in business here? Uh, over 21 years. Wow, and did you start to shop? Did you purchase it from I, somebody? I did, I started it. Wonderful. And uh, what got you into quilt making? I was, I've been into quilt making since 79. And I worked at a shop in town, and then when my boss sold the shop, I uh, I kind of um, decided that I wanted to do this myself. My turn. My, my turn. turn. I love it. That's great. I also want to point out real quick, because this is really important to most of my fans, we have two coffee pots going over here. So this is a serious creative place with dual caffeination stands. <laughs> this is this is really great. Okay, so you've been in business a little, you said 21 years? Uh-huh. Um, and you also introduced Christy, but she's also a family member, is that she's correct? She's my niece. She's niece. Christy, how long have you been making quilts for? Oh, since the 90s sometime. Okay. Uh, do you have a favorite style or kinds of fabric you like to work in? I like modern brights. Right. Is that why there's so much batik here uh, in snowy Michigan today for me? Of course, it's it's not always snowing in Michigan. Is that correct? No, it's just sometimes just real cold. Just real cold. <laughs> okay, Sandy, I got to put you on the spot. What is your favorite kind of quilts to make? Any Anything pieced. Yeah, I noticed when I came in how well curated everything was. And I like that for myself because as a quilt maker, I like to wander around, like finding something I fall in love with fabric-wise, and then I go and pick stuff, you know, that coordinates with it. So. I pick out panels. Okay. For the person who wants to make someone a quilt but doesn't want to put a lot of time in it because they don't know how it's going to be taken care of. You know, that makes a lot of sense, especially... It, this is a panel quilt. This is a panel quilt. Yeah. Well, I was looking at that when I was noticing the dual coffee pots and I didn't notice it as a panel quilt. But yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. Not only for practice, but for those quilts that are just gonna be really used and abused or you're not sure where they're gonna end up. And charity projects. There's a lot of charity right. uh, quilts that are going on out there. Cool. Um, okay, you were also telling me about something that's important to you and that is uh, your sit and sews. Right, we have open sews. Yeah. They're, um, <clears throat> We find there's a lot of people that need friendships outside their family. Yeah. And there's, um, they just need to be 
stimulated by other quilters too. Yeah. You know, so. And occasionally there's a buffet here. Right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Is it a once a week gathering? Is it once a month? Is it, it just actually, whenever it happens? Whenever it happens. Actually, I have a Thursday group and I have a Friday group, and a Tuesday morning AM and a Tuesday PM. Right. You know, so it works real well for us. May not work, you know, because we have this wonderful classroom. Yeah. Now, look at all of this great space they have in the classroom. It is fantastic. And, you know, as, as you were saying that, and it's so heartfelt and lovely, I'm thinking about quilting really as, as where it kind of started, where several folks, uh, often ladies, would be sitting around a quilt frame and sewing together, patching it together, one, because of the fellowship, and two, because they had to get it done, and the more hands, the faster the work, and then they'd move on to another quilt and another quilt. Um, you know, I've even been blessed to meet the ladies of G's Bend yeah. and heard their stories. And so, yeah, and I'm all about the concept yeah. They help one another too, yeah. and so they, and they learn from one another. But I am always here to help if they need that too. Good. All right. Uh, thank you very much for the interview and let me come and play in the the camera in here. It is so fun to get to meet all of these shops out here and see all of you, in your element and right. doing what it what it does and what it takes to make quilting happen all around the we U.S. We have customers that come and say, "I'm home." I was whining that my shoulder was getting sore, and now she's over here with some sort of witch doctor in a bottle, and uh, oh, it smells really kind of good, and my eyes watering. <laughs> I'm getting all tingly inside.